Welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'm going to finish this pretty old sketch instead of just redrawing it. I thought it could be fun to see the difference directly on paper since this was an old pencil sketch. I guess it's way over 10 years old now and maybe even 12 or 13 years. And however now I would turn it into a new artwork. As you can see I was not good at all in the past. I had no idea how to draw bodies, I didn't even try to use references, I guess I didn't even came to the idea that I can use one. So I didn't finish it of course because I had no idea how to draw the anatomy. But good for us now that I can make this video. I'm also including a little Q&A with your questions for this topic of my improvement and improving in general. But first, I started as usual beginning with the face. It felt more familiar as the face looks like in my current style and it already changed a lot for me and made it easier to make the body part match to the face. At first it was pretty much confusing to correct my old art so I had to erase everything but <laughs> step by step of course. So changes happen slowly and I also had to finish the pose, so I decided to let her do something with her hands and after the new corrected sketch was done, I made clear lines in red, so it's easier to see these lines while tracing. For the new line art, I used a polychromo from Faber-Castell. It makes the outlines look way softer than using black or sepia, plus I can erase most of it if I still need to make some changes or in case something is off. Actually, it was my plan to make the coloration on the same paper as the sketch, but I felt those pencil marks might disturb the overall picture. And it's better to work on a paper I really like to color on, because, like I love to say, copy paper is not Copic paper. <laughs> By the way, I filmed this with natural sunlight since it's summer and the sun shines all day, but sometimes it gets cloudy, so I hope you don't mind. Alright, now finally to your questions. I was getting a lot of interesting questions from you, so let's begin with the question when I started to do art. It's a pretty tricky one, because everybody did art as a child, so I don't know if that already counts. If I say I'm doing art since I can hold a pen in my hand, the other question would be if you can call it art. But I can clearly remember um, one of the many days when I was in kindergarten and told my friends that I wanted to become a fashion designer or just an artist, like everything would be great as long as I can be creative. My wish to become an artist came pretty early and so I never stopped to draw, but my personal development was pretty slow. I was born in 1991 and in my childhood there was no internet, no Instagram and no YouTube. <laughs> the only thing I had was anime from television and the manga collection from my mom that I couldn't even read because it was all written in Thai language. <laughs> and it was also my mom who made me watch anime like Sailor Moon, Lady Georgie, Roses of Versailles, Cat's Eye and all the other anime that were on TV. I also remember how she once picked me up from kindergarten and said, let's hurry to get back home and watch Lady Georgie and I was just like, <laughs> Which is now a pretty good move to the next question. Who or what inspired my art style? So, anime and manga had its place in my heart pretty early thanks to my mom. I guess her manga collection had also a pretty big influence. She had mangas like Anatolia Story, also known as Red River, Crest of the Royal Family, which has this pretty girlish 70s style and a lot more. So I guess this is some kind of where my art style was growing from. Classical shoujo manga. Sho shoujo? Sho I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. However, when I was getting older, I guess I was about 14 years old, 
I was heavily influenced by the art style of Clamp, who are known especially for X or Magic Knight Ray Earth. So I guess this is something I can never get rid of and it will be forever part of my style. And I'm still influenced by old manga styles, especially because today a lot of artists work digital and what I really appreciate from old manga artists is to see techniques and art done with traditional mediums like markers and watercolor. Because you know what? I'm also a traditional artist and I just love older art styles. I really started to collect older art books with traditional manga art and I love to study the techniques and analyze how it was done. With all these studies it also happens sometimes that I adapt something not intentionally into my way to draw, especially if my studies are too intense, like I'm always looking at it. Uh, for example, the artwork in this video is a little bit influenced by the style of Sadamoto who's best known for Neon Genesis and I really adore his art books. They are so awesome and so cool. Next question is, if I have learned to draw my own characters realistically before drawing in manga style. I learned... I don't want to call it learning, but it really helped me to find a start and to draw some more <laughs> human-like faces by uh, copying from manga books when I was young. I have first started with manga and I already tried to draw realistically when I was young. But of course it never turned out good and I had no motivation to learn it because it was pretty hard and if you have no experiences or somebody who helps you, you are afraid of drawing wrinkles and teeth that will always look scary. But then you are wondering why this portrait looks so strange but if all the characteristic details are missing because you were just too afraid of drawing them, of course it will not turn out great. Later on, when I was about 19 years old, I started to seriously learn drawing realistically. Next question is, what helped me to improve the most? Techniques or exercises? So when I was 18 years old, I moved to Berlin because I wanted to study something with art. And because my first love lived in Berlin. <laughs> I joined some art courses to create an own portfolio and in those courses you make a lot of exercises. Drawing from life, drawing nudes, drawing still life and it was some kind of forbidden to draw manga. Fun fact, comic was okay. However, the most helpful things besides being some kind of force to do something other than manga was to get real critique that was constructive. Then it was also a big help to start to have a sketchbook with me and to draw no matter where I am, even while sitting in the train. Then of course to draw on a daily base and to draw just from life. Another thing that really helped me was to have at least one artist I looked up to. So artists with a style and level I wanted to achieve. To have something like a goal and direction to work. So for example there was one artist on DeviantArt I really adored and he had the semi-realistic grown-up style I wanted to achieve. I don't know if he's still active. I couldn't find him on Instagram but you can look up for him on DeviantArt. His name is Masateru. What are my tips for artists to improve their work, especially those who aren't beginners anymore? So general tips are draw from life, use a sketchbook, draw daily, draw ugly, try not to draw perfect sketches just because you want to post something on Instagram, first draw for yourself and accept making mistakes. Try out a lot of things like different art supplies, challenge yourself from time to time, for example with sketching with a non-erasable pen and think about your art. Give yourself constructive criticism, analyze your art, let your senpais give you critique, 
uh, make goals with things you want to achieve and work for it. Take breaks from time to time to go out, to have creative chats with friends and don't just sit in your chamber drawing all day. Your brain needs input and with new impressions, inspiration and then creativity comes from itself. I am really speaking from my own experiences, so last one is a personal advice. Another tip, it's pretty much underrated, but be patient. Sometimes improvement comes in little doses and you will only improve if you work for it. But keep in mind, everybody has its own pace. Some are already great artists with 16. I would say I became better when I was about 24. As you can see, improvement can't be measured on age. But a fact is, if you don't draw a lot and if you don't practice, it will take longer for you to improve. So be active and don't be focused on manga only and especially get inspired instead of being jelly. If you feel jealous, then turn this energy into motivation to become as good as this artist or even better. In this way you won't be discouraged, instead you are focused on your own improvement. I started early to think like that and since then I honestly was never discouraged by another artist. Instead I'm inspired because thanks to all these awesome artists I find energy to continue working on getting better and enjoy their art. Being positive helps more than being negative and blocking yourself with self-doubt. You don't need to be happy AF, but stay neutral and accept that somebody is better than you and take this as a challenge to grow. Okay, I guess I could do a whole video just with this topic, but I want to go on with the next question. What kinds of practice do or did I do? <laughs> do do do. Only freehanding or did I try tracing as well? When I started to draw manga, I just copied. But in middle school, I had one friend who was also a fan of anime and we used to trace anime art like Aika and Dragon Ball with a special tracing paper he was giving me. So we traced and exchanged those pictures and sometimes we colored them. I guess that was the only tracing experience I had. It didn't help me to learn drawing to be honest, which is kind of sad because Aika has some awesome body proportions. But we did it just for fun. Now the only thing I'm tracing are my own sketches. And the only kind of practice I'm doing currently is studying coloring techniques and analyzing the way artists I adore draw. And of course drawing from life to learn drawing better body proportions. And I also do analyzing my own art, giving myself critique to find a way to get better. For example, I'm seeing that something is wrong with um, an arm I've drawn and I don't know what exactly looks of, so I think about it and mirror it and try to describe why it looks so strange until I found a solution or I look up to references that look similar to um, understand my mistake. If I have understand what exactly went wrong, it's easier for me to practice to draw better and to fix those mistakes. Sometimes this process can take some days. <laughs> it's not like I'm finding a solution within an hour. I would be lucky if it works like this. But it's a practice on improving my visual skills, I guess. How long did it take me to build my own style? It's difficult to answer, I have never had the feeling that I have an own style since I'm always jumping between different styles. But I started to work on some kind of a semi-realistic look since about 2010, so for 9 years now. Oh gosh, I feel old now. <laughs> and that was also the time when I wanted to become something like a professional manga artist and illustrator. I think a style is always in development. Maybe in the next year I'm drawing a little bit different from today. I guess I will. <laughs> 
I feel like it's difficult for me to keep up the same style because every picture I create has a different feeling or a different technique or I was just in a different mood or I have used different art supplies uh, because using different art supplies let me create different. But I personally think what makes you recognize an art style is the line work. So the basic framework, the way somebody draws. Was there ever a point where I felt like I stopped improving? Yes, a lot. I was currently in this state for quite some time. <laughs> Since the past year I am almost regularly art blocked. That's also a reason why sometimes I was not posting anything, I'm really sorry. However, in a part of these past art blocks, I felt like my art looks always the same, the same generic girl, the same expression. I felt not able to draw dynamic poses and so on. And on the same hand, I felt the pressure of being active and creative on social media and it was all just too much for me. So that I even was burnt out for a longer time because of all the work life and my needs to find the time to do art just for myself. So there was no space to work for improvement when it was clearly needed. Sometimes I had those delightful moments when something turned out better than usual, but it was hard to get out of this madness. I guess now I'm over it, but this phase lasted way too long in my taste. Do I think my style has changed over the years and if yes, am I happy with the new changes? I don't think my style has changed over the years. My style is still some kind of girlish and a little bit sexy. And I still love drawing dreamy eyes like I used to draw when I was young. So I would rather say that my art style just improved. And of course I'm happy with it because it makes it possible for me to create more complex art and to use my experiences, my knowledge to help you improve. At least I hope so. <laughs> I believe that everybody has its own style, even if you at first copy and draw in a style of another artist. Because we are individual and not copies of other artists, so we will always end up adding individual details, preferences, and we will always move forward from our template. I guess the only exception is if you want to become a true copy of another artist. So now to the final question, because I feel this video gets too long. When I look back at my old art, how do I feel? I feel old. <laughs> okay, now seriously. If I look at my old art, I feel some kind of warmth and I feel just nostalgic and I recap the long way of my personal development with all my ups and downs. It almost makes me a little bit tear up. I feel just thankful for having the freedom to create and that I had almost no boundaries that kept me from drawing. Especially when I was a kid. I know that a lot of you don't have it as easy with parents that want to stop you from creating. But be stubborn, it's your life, your passion and nobody should steal this happiness from you. Make it clear that it makes you happy to make art and that you wish that your parents just accept it. You know, they don't have to like your hentai art, but they have to accept it. Do what you love. A thing that always bothered me was people telling me how talented I am and that they will never be as good as I am now. I want to take this video as an opportunity to show you that you can become anything you want if you work hard and be passionate. Talent is not something that falls off from heaven or can be taken like pills. For me, talent is the result of passion, time and of course hard work. 
And I truly believe that you can do it too if you work hard. If you love creating, then don't stop. You will improve way faster than you think. And if you feel like there's no improvement, then just look at your old art. There's always improvement, but it sometimes comes in little doses and everyone has their own path and their own pace. I also think it's important to be patient with ourselves. All I wanted to become when I was young was to be a good artist and maybe publish my own stories. And it's still my goal to become better and better. It's a never-ending story. So at this point, I just want to thank you all for all your support and your patience when I'm sometimes not posting anything. <laughs> I'm fighting with art blocks and yawning emptiness in my mind just like you, but I want to let you know that you are not alone with this. We all started with zero and we all have ups and downs. It's just a part of being an artist. So just keep on creating. There are still some awesome questions left that I won't answer now because this video is already too long, but you know what? I will continue this Q&A in another video. If you like, you can also send me some questions in the comment section and I will either make sure to answer them in the next video as well or I will answer directly. It's a little bit depending on when the next video is done. So if your questions come afterwards, I will try to answer them directly in the comment section. If you like my art and want to support my works and still get some awesome perks with extra content, make sure to check out my Patreon page. I'm currently posting so much exclusive and early access art. We are currently working on a monthly fund of $100 so I can add a new reward tier you can upgrade to in which you will get all previous perks and a monthly Patreon exclusive art print. I'm planning to make some cool pearl prints and these prints will be numbered, signed and mailed every month. So if you are interested, check out my Patreon page to get more information and in case you would just like to get my art books and other merch, check out my Etsy shop. All information is listed in the description box down below. And that's now definitely the end of the video. So goodbye, take care and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!